When Michael Schneider's anxiety and PTSD flare up, he reaches for the ukulele he keeps next to his computer. I can't actually play a song, says Schneider, who suffered two serious brain injuries during nearly 22 years in the Marines. But I can play chords to take my stress level down. It's a technique Schneider learned through Creative Forces, an arts therapy initiative sponsored by the National Endowment for the Arts, in partnership with the Departments of Defense and Veterans Affairs. It's also an example of how arts therapies are increasingly being used to treat brain conditions including PTSD, depression, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. But most of these treatments, ranging from music to poetry to visual arts, still have not undergone rigorous scientific testing. So artists and brain scientists have launched an initiative called the NeuroArts Blueprint to change that. The initiative is the result of a partnership between the Johns Hopkins International Arts Plus Mind Lab Center for Applied Neuroaesthetics and the Aspen Institute's Health, Medicine, and Society program. Its leadership includes soprano Renee Fleming, actress and playwright Anna DeVere Smith, and Dr. Eric Nessler, who directs the Friedman Brain Institute at Mount. See Nice Icon School of Medicine. One goal of the NeuroArts initiative is to measure how arts therapies change the brains of people like Schneider. I had a traumatic brain injury when I was involved in a helicopter incident on board a U.S. naval vessel, he explains. That was in 2005. Later that same year, he experienced sudden decompression, the aviator's version of the bends, while training for high-altitude flights. The result was like a stroke. On my right side of my body I lost all feeling, he says. Schneider recovered from both incidents. But they took a toll on his brain. And in 2014, he began having serious problems. I had this progression of really bad seizures, he says. At one point I was having 20 to 40 seizures a day. He also developed symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, known as PTSD, and depression. Schneider went to Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda for treatment. But he wasn't getting better. It lost hope, he says.